All right, so I just want to speak on this really quick because this is something that over the past three years, the Lord has just been using certain circumstances in my life to get me to this point. And there is a phrase that I just cannot let go of now. And it's literally like what I am clinging on to. And this is a phrase that I just want to speak to whoever is listening right now. And I hope that this is something that you grab a hold of too. But the phrase is eternal perspective. If I could say that a million bajillion times, I would. And I probably will say it many times in this video because just that phrase alone preaches eternal perspective. I was looking at my vision board today that I made at the beginning of 2023, like January 1st, and I'm reading everything on there. And while I'm reading it, I'm just thinking to myself, I don't even care about any of this stuff anymore. I could care less, like forget all of this, like forget like how much money I want to make, forget like, you know, just all these little things, even though like not, not that there's anything wrong with that, but like, just forget all of that because ultimately none of that matters. And I started thinking to myself, like if I were to make a vision board for 2024, the only thing that I would want for it to say is to, to do the will of God and to save lost souls in the name of Jesus. Like that is ultimately the only thing that matters. Um, and I share all of that because, you know, we get so caught up in the day to day, like in worldly pleasures, you know, we get caught up in, in our, just in ourselves. We get so consumed with ourselves, you know, we're in this world, but we're not of this world. But because of us being in this world, it's so easy to have some of these mindsets that have been instilled in us because of the world that we live in and because it's the norm um, of, of things mattering more than, more than what they truly do, you know, because ultimately everything here is passing away. You know, that's what scripture tells us. The things of this world is passing away and they're, they're, they're going to leave us one day. You know, the things that we have, the accomplishments that we make, they don't last forever, okay? Like, eventually, they're going to be stripped away from us at one point in our lives. The only thing that we can guarantee when we are children of God is eternity. So, like, when troubles come, like, let's be realistic here. Like, troubles are going to come in our life because we are in, we live, like, in a fallen world. We're going to experience struggles. We're going to experience the loss of loved ones. We're going to experience, like, injustice. But in the grand scheme of things, everything that you experience here is temporary. All right? Everything here is temporary. Yes, the pain is real. The pain that you experience when you lose things that are dear to you, it's real. It hurts. But the truth in that that will set you free is having an eternal perspective to know that no matter what happens on this earth, no matter what I lose, no matter what is completely stripped away from me, no matter what happens in this world and with the government and with wars, you know, no matter what happens, like, let's say whatever is happening, like the awful things that's happening in like Israel right now, let's say things like that start happening over here and we lose like just everything. And maybe we're in a place of like, not being safe and we have to what if we have to like run and hide you know revelation talks about these things there's scripture that talks about these things in the end times what if what if we experience that you know and here today we're worried about all these little things when things could ultimately get so much worse eternal perspective that's all you need to grasp you need to remain in christ and grasp a hold of that truth of an eternal perspective. Everything here is temporary. I feel like the best thing that we can do as believers is 
to grab a hold of the truth of having an eternal perspective and to prepare our minds for whatever is to come, you know, prepare our minds. Let's be sober. Let's be vigilant. Let's have the realistic mindset that things may not always, things aren't always going to be a cakewalk. Okay. Things aren't always going to be rainbows and butterflies. Yes. God gives good, good gifts. He gives good gifts, but the most perfect gift of all that he has given us is the gift of salvation and eternity with him. And, and that is surpasses everything else. So if there is one thing that I could speak to your heart today is you can already say the words eternal perspective. Nothing else matters. Remain in Christ. Seek him. Put him first above all things. Grow your relationship with him. Let him do the work in you that he wants to do. You know, day by day, he'll take you glory to glory to glory. He'll refine you and purify you and make him more like you. Let's be ready. You know, let's be ready for whatever is to come. Let's be a ready bride for our groom. Let's be purified. Let's be holy. But let's keep that eternal perspective no matter what happens you know let's let's die to the things of this world let's no longer care about you know money title status power like possessions not that any not that having any of those things is wrong you know god god will bless us in some of these things but it's it's th those things ultimately don't matter because they're going to die and pass away. But we have eternity with Christ forever. So just let that encourage you. And if you're going through hard, difficult, trying times right now, be encouraged and know that this is temporary. This is temporary. And you have a life of forever peace and happiness and joy with your father um, one day in in eternity you know um yeah like let's just not let let's not be consumed so much with our desires let's not be so consumed with um like the our our goals let's not be so consumed with just the things of this world, you know, like let's just be consumed with Christ and Christ alone and pray and ask him to help us to just have that eternal perspective because you can't go wrong with that. You know, you absolutely cannot go wrong with that at all.